Following the resignation of former President Anne Rondell, the Board of Trustees have created a Presidential Search Committee to find a replacement. The 16-member committee is made up of District 502 volunteers who work in education and government. Our first candidate, Dr. Johnny Moore, spoke with us about his goals as COD's next president. I'm a very uh, energetic person. I believe in the students. I, I, my focus is all about student success. This week, we started with three presidential candidates. But after Dr. Caputo's unexpected withdrawal, we are left with two candidates to choose from to be our next president. We had the opportunity to listen to Dr. Ken Traska as he spoke to students, faculty, and staff. He was full of energy and determined that he was the best candidate for CUD's next president. Experience along the way. For me, it's all about the student experience. And I think if you're looking for somebody to promote that, to kind of bring the whole team together in a new way. That means finding the connections that we've been missing, whether it's between departments, whether it's between programs, um, and then promoting that collectively and, and in an energetic and passionate way. We talked to students on how they felt about today's forum and Dr. Caputo's dropout. Today I heard uh, one of the potential candid uh, candidates for presidency speak, and he sounded very charismatic. Uh, he spoke very well. I thought he actually tackled a lot of questions pretty well, and he really gave his opinion. Um, on what he really thought uh, this campus should be moving forward under his leadership. And I thought it was a pretty solid interview, especially in this type of forum. Um, today's forum I think was really good. I think he had a lot of energy. He had a lot of knowledge. I think he had a lot of prior experience, background experience, which is a lot, which means a lot to um, the board and to administration and students like myself because we want to make sure that whoever is coming in to fill the space of Dr. Rondo or Dr. Caputo will be someone that knows what it's like to be president and knows what it's like to even just be a regular professor, knows what students need, administration wants, stuff like that. So I think he was really good. I was very surprised at Dr. Caputo because I think he's a very popular person around campus and I know a lot of faculty and students who really liked him. And I was really looking forward to um, you know going to school here uh, under his leadership continuing. And so I was really disappointed and a little bit surprised. But I mean, um, I'm sure he had his reasons and he felt uh, justified by what he did. So. Uh, I think it was kind of disappointing because I've had a couple conversations with him and I really liked him. Um, but, I mean, whatever's best for him is what's best for him. But I think he was a kind of a, a future hopeful to be our, our um, official president here. But, I mean, I think the candidates that we've seen on Monday and today are good hopefuls as well. So, yeah.